All right, guys. It has turned into just a cloudy, gloomy, soon to be rainy Saturday morning. It is the third day of spring, March 23rd, 2019, and I need to get back out to the Amazon rainforest in my backyard here. Good Lord. Before I dive into that, I am going to simply... Well, it's not exactly my We Are So Fucked headline. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Before I even dive into the mainstream media news today, <clears throat> just a quick pleasant trip. Uh, I want to send a big thank you out to Alert Tribes member Douglas Mayhall. Thank you, Brother Douglas, for your kind PayPal support. I think Douglas has, uh, pretty sure Douglas has, I think this is the same guy, I, I, I do appreciate it, and I think, Douglas, that I can thank you for a donation to Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles, <clears throat> and anyone else who has ever found it in their hearts to and wallets to uh, support what I do with my life to bring you this information on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles. Thank you very much and you can always find how to do that uh, on the description to my videos. So anyway, <clears throat> with that, uh, we're going to dive into the mainstream media and how many times have I said recently the, the new challenge in my life since I decided a few months ago uh, to try to pick out the We Are So Fucked, one We Are So Fucked headline doomer story of the day from the mainstream media. Okay, guys, I, I, I don't know where to go, so I'm going to take a break from that because I don't know which one of these to pick. So you can, you can pick your own. Let's hear some uh, votes. Which one of these mainstream media stories for an average Saturday morning on the planet here in Yahoo News would you choose if you were me? Which, uh, which one of these stories would you run with as the We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day? Of course, we're going to start out in the shithole country of Mozambique. Cyclone death toll surges as United Nations steps up Mozambique aid call. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, <clears throat> Sudan summons Egypt ambassador over Red Sea oil and gas exploration blocks. Can you say oil wars forming in the Red Sea? Uh, several versions of this one. Mount Everest glaciers are melting and that is exposing the bodies of dead Climbers. I'm going to see if we can get a little bit of a wind guard. It looks like the storm is brewing. Hopefully that'll help a little bit with the wind noise. Yes, 300 dead bodies have been uncovered as the glaciers on Mount Everest continue to retreat. We always have the melting glacier. Uh, Alright, here's one I will get back to. Great ways to meet single women near Austin, Texas. Hmm. Local matchmaking service seeks matches for their single female clients over the age of 50. Ha. Ah. I'm sure there's a lot of doomer chicks on that side. Anyway, getting back to... Uh, the issue at hand. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. EU Parliament urged to strip ExxonMobil lobbyists of access badges. 
Yes, we shall see. Uh, of course, one of the biggest stories in the main, the probably at least 50 versions of this story. Missouri governor declares state of emergency amid flooding. Uh, next to that, Midwest flooding cost increasing with $1.6 billion dollars of damage in Iowa alone and this is going to be I'm going to come back to this over there at Collapse Chronicles I'm going to run with this story but to hear the story I chose on that one uh, come see me at Collapse Chronicles well there is there is some good news economic gloom hits world stock markets Worries about economic growth prospects hit global stock markets on Friday, causing sharp price drops on both sides of the Atlantic. Hallelujah, the uh, economic collapse moving right along as it needs to be. The sooner, the better. Here is the newest war plane being developed uh, by the U.S. Navy. Yes, all right, some more uh, good news here on the mainstream media. <clears throat> Ebola increasing in Congo due to security challenges. Now, of course, every time I mention this good news from sub-Saharan Africa, of course, do keep in mind that gorillas and chimpanzees also get Ebola and uh, Ebola virus could easily send either one of those to extinction so that really isn't good news uh, hmm wow imagine this the <clears throat> this is the uh, I guess the worse than previously thought headline of the day Many sharks are closer to extinction than feared. Yes, human appetites are pushing iconic sharks to the brink of extinction, scientists warned in a new assessment of the apex predator's conservation status. Mm -hmm. Wow, imagine this one from Bloomberg. Trump has a plan to preserve benefits for oil drillers in the future. Yes, I bet. Um, let's see, moving ahead. Uh, here is a story now on the southern flood threat although the uh, the sun is coming out in Texas what they're talking about is even even where it didn't rain the the oncoming flood waters should probably I don't know when are, when are they gonna get uh, see uh, how that one shows up uh, <laughs> Here is a big fight developing between the Inter-American Development Bank and China. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. I got to get through all of the New Zealand shooting stories. Uh, more on the Missouri River flooding forces evacuation of 7,500 people from St. Joseph, Missouri. Yes. Uh, you know, of course, of course, what, you know, one of the biggest stories on the planet is Donald Trump ranting still about John McCain. How long has John McCain been dead? We have one war criminal talking, I, I think, 
Donald Trump using the word evil to describe John McCain. I, I just absolutely love it. War criminals calling dead war criminals evil. Uh, D, D, next. Okay, just in case you're not aware of this, a massive solar storm is hitting Earth this weekend. But don't worry, it's not going to be harmful. D, D, D. All right. Uh, Okay, I guess we do have <clears throat> some good news coming out of Mozambique. Disease stalks cyclone disaster zone as the world scrambles to fly more help into Mozambique. Yep, 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 yep. I like this one. Don't waste your money on these useless trucks. And right next to that story is a, I have all of these ads from the car gurus because I'm in the market for uh, my new gas sucking truck, which will be a Toyota Tacoma. So uh, wish me luck on the search for my new gas sucking truck. I uh, have been getting a laugh about how the, the former planet-eating president of Brazil, I guess, I guess he's been arrested uh, for some sort of corruption charges surrounding a nuclear power plant. Oh my God. Uh, more on the Mozambique cyclone. Uh, China's worst nightmare, a U.S. military presence on Taiwan. Uh, I don't think, miraculously, I don't think I could be wrong that, uh, that we have a military base on Taiwan yet, anyway. We can see where that... Uh, leads us uh, more on the New Zealand shooting. Uh, there's all kinds of stories on the Apple Watch. Alright, they're still talking about this fire in Texas. Planned U.S. oil storage boom faces new scrutiny after oil tank farm fire. A tank farm. That's what we're raising and we're farming in Texas. We're farming oil tankers. I guess what you do is you is you plant a little oil tank seed and watch it grow. I think each one of these tanker, these oil tanks, was at 80,000, not gallons, each one of these tankers, tanks, I think, was 80,000 barrels of oil. Uh, more stories on the Dow plunge on Friday. Hallelujah. We could certainly do a... Uh, it's about time economic collapse uh, story. Gee, California governor to waive environmental rules for fire season preparation. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, well, some good news out of China. China factory blast death toll jumps to 64. Here is some story on the newest monster truck. Uh, yes, 
a story on the African Development Bank. Uh, anybody who does not realize why the any story on the African Development Bank uh, is, is grist for the we are so fucked story. What's going on in the shithole country of Venezuela? Water. Water is now gold for desperate Venezuelans. From the poorest slums to the wealthiest neighborhoods, the shortage of fresh water cuts across Venezuelan societies as families endure the country's deepest ever economic crisis. Anybody who does not understand how fresh water is going to, uh, or the lack of it, is going to be one of the biggest stories uh, ramping up all over. I, I've done stories about fresh water crisis in Africa, the fresh water crisis white right here in the western United States. Uh, had some comment today about the the ramping up water crisis in Britain, but nowhere. I mean, if you want to talk about fresh water crises, good God. Uh, yes, uh, this story, and, and I thought about this one. Uh, energy giants spend one billion dollars on climate lobbying and PR since the Paris Agreement. Anybody uh, failing to understand why would big oil be, and I, I wouldn't say just one, uh, one of the cheerleaders of the Paris Climate Agreement. Uh, I, I think they were actually one of the authors. Why would big oil be a champion of the unadulterated horseshit uh, Paris Climate Agreement. Well, that's a whole nother we are so fucked uh, doomer headline of the day uh, that I don't have time to go into. Uh, Indonesia detains Russian suspected of drugging and smuggling an orangutan. Uh, yes. A Russian man was detained at an airport in Bali as he was caught trying to smuggle a baby orangutan out of the country in a suitcase. The Orangutan appeared to have been drugged. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right. What's good or bad for Mozambique? We now have a cyclone lashing the Australian coast, but I think they needed some uh, rain down there anyway. Uh, well, back to the shithole country of Venezuela. Cradle of Venezuela oil industry is a scene of destruction. Greasy oil slicks continue to darken the ground around Mene Grande, known as the Grand Mine a modest town where Venezuela's oil boom was born more than a century ago. We used to live like kings. Hmm. They don't live like kings in Venezuela. Okay, we were just talking about uh, water in Venezuela. What does UNICEF, the United Nations, have to say about clean water this week? In war, dirty water is more dangerous to children than violence. Children under the age of 15 are almost three times more likely 
to die from diseases due to lack of clean water and sanitation than from violence in countries in conflict. The United Nations Children Agency reported on Friday. Yep. Asking the question, can Japan end its love affair with plastic? We all know the answer to that question. I don't know if they're talking just about, uh, I guess this is probably anywhere on the planet, not just the Midwest. The waters are rising. The floods are coming. What are we doing to save ourselves? Experts say some areas will experience more violent and wetter storms as climate change makes global weather more variable and extreme. This story from USA Today. What's going on in the New York subways this week? Video shows 78-year-old woman being kicked multiple times on New York City subway. Uh, here is the latest update on the Rohingya, whatever you pronounce that, refugee crisis. What's going on on the Galapagos Islands today? Plastic microparticles threaten unique Galapagos fauna. Yes, park rangers and volunteers are battling the scourge of plastic waste blighting the idyllic Galapagos Islands and their unique creatures as tons of plastic piling up on the remote beaches in the Galapagos Islands 600 miles off the coast of uh, Ecuador. More stories on the petrochemical fire. Here is, wow, the U.S. Something about uh, the U.S. selling warplanes to Turkey. How could, what could be go wrong with that? What is going on with the water in Brazil? After this latest mine disaster, it cannot be called water. Brazil marks two months since mining dam disaster. Yes. Uh, uh, Interior boss order order aims to protect U.S. public land access. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Yes, this is. Don't worry. If you're a hunter and you're worried about accessing public lands to kill whatever wild animals are left as Trump is selling off more and more of this to the oil and gas drillers. Don't worry, uh, the Interior Department is protecting your God-given right to kill animals uh, on our public lands. Uh, you know, I guess you can shoot around the fracking wells. All right. Uh, where are we looking at 
GM to <clears throat> invest $300 million in plant to build electric vehicles. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Steve Bannon descends on Rome sowing chaos. Wow, imagine this. Nokia phones caught <clears throat> mysteriously sending data to Chinese servers. Hmm. Okay, what's going on up at the Great Lakes? <clears throat> Great Lakes feeling effects of rapid climate warming. Hmm. The Great Lakes region is warming faster than the rest of the U.S., a trend likely to bring more extreme storms while also degrading water quality. What is the way to keep your children entertained in the end times? <clears throat> Nintendo's virtual reality kit is a wonderfully weird way to keep <clears throat> your children entertained. Uh, perhaps it should come it should not come as a surprise that Nintendo's new foray into virtual reality involves holding a cardboard elephant to your face. What is going on with U.S. ethanol production? Midwest flooding shuts down nearly one-sixth of U.S. ethanol productions as rail lines are washed out and corn in storage is flood damaged. I'll have a lot more about the flood damaged corn in storage in my Collapse Chronicles uh, story today. Uh, it is not too late to get Anchor's hottest true wireless earbuds. Uh, one of the Earth's worst earthquakes in Korea's history was caused by humans. An investigation finds that a geothermal energy plant triggered the earthquake. This is uh, geothermal energy being uh, touted by the UN as sustainable energy. Uh, let's see. Here is today's Trump cartoon. Oh, God. <clears throat> Royal but regular. Will Harry and Meghan seek normality for their baby? G D D D. Uh, anyway, guys, we're getting down into the sports and celebrity, so we're going to wind up with uh, today's mainstream media headline news with one. This one from Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner to her to critics of her self-made, her self-made billionaire title. Quote, there is really no other word to use. Kylie Jenner dismiss dismisses her critics who argue that she should not have been dubbed a self-made billionaire.
But for anybody wondering, Kylie Jenner baby number two rumors shut down as she strips off in racy photo shoot. The world's youngest billionaire stripping off in a racy photo shoot. We're so fucked. But anyway, guys, uh, I am going to move away from the uh, mainstream media, head over to a right-wing conservative Bible-thumping website called The End of the American Dream, where we're going to, over there at Collapse Chronicles, uh, and look at the story, catastrophic flooding in the Midwest could last for months, and that is going to mean a dramatic drop in U.S. food production. No shit, Sherlock. But it's going to mean a bigger drop in U.S. ethanol production. But you'll have to come over to Collapse Chronicles for that one for this week's uh, We Are So Fucked headlines, plural, of the day. Smoke them if you got them and get out there and enjoy it while you still can before the floodwaters hit. Bye, guys.